Welcome to this fourth in our series of tutorials on using AI tools. In this tutorial, we'll look at providing inputs to a, your favorite AI assistant. So we'll look at providing images and basing questions around them. We'll look at uploading documents and asking questions about those. We'll look at reading Office 365 files and asking questions about them. And finally, we'll look at providing uh, your inputs to AI tools in speech format. But that's enough of me. I'm going to vanish as I often do at this stage of the tutorial. And let's get started. So what I'm going to do in this section is give three examples of uploading images. To upload a file or image in ChatGPT, you can just click on this plus sign. It's pretty similar in all the other tools. It doesn't take a second to find. So I'm going to add photos and files. And what I'll do is upload image 001. So let's say, what is this? It's actually a cake made by, made by my sister-in-law. Hi, Jackie. She was trying to produce a really bad looking cake. So let's see what chat GPT thinks of it. It's a creative and quirky take on a hedgehog cake with a rather funny and slightly spooky appearance. And <laughs> I love this bit of tact. Would you like me to suggest ways to make it look more like a hedgehog? I'll keep in the fun vibe. So this is ChatGPT's saying, your cake is rubbish. So let's try another example. Uh, so we'll add a, another image. And this is going to be image 002. And I'm going to say, where is this? It's actually the village of, of Port Merion, which is where I think it's prison number six was based. Um, you'll have to have a very long memory to know about that. Um, we, we went there quite recently particularly easy and distinctive place to recognize, but I've tried this with oil, oil platforms in the North Sea and it still managed to get it right. It's very hard to beat these days. So let's try a third image just to get into the swing of this. So I'm gonna try image three. All of these files, by the way, are provided uh, along with the video. So if you just look at the YouTube course notes, you'll see the Wise Owl website URL to go to, to get them. So for this one, it's slightly harder this time. I'm going to say, what is this? No clues that it's an animal and what's wrong with it? So this is Alfie the Whippet. It's my other sister-in-law's dog. And you can see it's got a bit of a poorly front paw. So let's see if an AI tool can, can recognize that and how far it can get. So uh, my suspicion is it's going to do best than you could possibly expect. It's a photo of a dog. It looks like a whippet, it does indeed. It's got a purple bandage on his front leg. How on earth can it possibly do this? And it even starts going to medical details about it and asks if you give some, you'd like some general advice on how to help a dog recover comfortably with a bandaged leg. So my main experience of using AI tools to analyze images, and this is gonna be a theme throughout this series of tutorials, is it's better than you can possibly expect it to be. So as for images, so for documents, what I want to do is show you three examples of how you can get ChatGPT or any other AI tool to load and analyze documents. So let's start with this one. This is uh, our Fast Track Python training course outline. So what I'm going to do is upload it. As always, these files are included with the course notes and it's called a file 001.pdf. And I'm just going to say, summarize this. And in no time at all, you can see you get a superb summary of it. I don't think you will ever outdo your AI tool nowadays. They're just absolutely brilliant at summarizing documents. So let's try a second one. I've got two very similar documents here called file 002A and B. And what they both do is contain a pet ownership agreement. So what it is, is an agreement between uh, ourselves and our cat on the sort of care we'll provide. And I'm sorry, I'm going to take a slight digression here. To, I was writing this as part of a training course and I was busily typing in amusing notes and trying to get a good document. And then I suddenly thought, I'm teaching AI, why am I doing this? So I went to ChatGPT and I typed in this prompt. Please create a contract to be signed by both the owner of a pet cat and the cat itself. The contract, and then it gives some details about the contract. Um, and then at the end, it says that the intention is that this should be a funny document. So please feel free to include lots of silly contractual terms. 
and the results, as always, exceeded my expectations. So I got a bit saying Sprout's poor print at the bottom, which I hadn't asked for, and then I got this delightful addition, please ensure ink is non-toxic toxic for the pet's safety when obtaining the paw print, and it's just full of interesting little quirky things like that. Anyway, I digress. I then made one small change to one of the documents, so let's see if it can find it. So what I'm going to do is upload two documents. So I'll upload those two. And I'm going to say, are these the same? And what it will do in a blink of an eye is upload them and find that there's one slight difference, which is somebody has added, the owner may return the pet to the cat's home from where it came if at any time it is not satisfied with it. If only we'd had that clause in our contract. Again, comparing documents, an AI tool is going to do this far, far better and far, far quicker than a human. So I'm sorry, humans, AI wins. So let's do one more example in the new chat window. What I'm going to do now is to ask it its opinions on this appraisal form. So this is for someone called Pat Smith, and it's full of things like needs improvement, the quality of work meets minimum requirements, but often lacks detail and thoroughness. And I'm hoping chat GPT is going to be break a rule really and be insulting about this. So let's see what it thinks. How would you rate Pat Smith's performance? And let's see what it thinks. So it's put in some strengths, which there weren't many to be honest, and it's put in a lot more weaknesses. And the reviewer's summary is Pat needs to show stronger commitment, initiative and consistency. Overall, I rated his or her performances as below expectations with room for significant improvement. And then it's even offered to create a performance improvement plan. So again, I'm afraid an AI tool is going to do this sort of thing way better than a human. So that's three examples of loading and analyzing documents. So previously we looked at loading PDF files, but ChatGPT and most other AI tools can cope perfectly well with files in a number of different formats. So it's just one example, let's do a couple of Office 365 files. So the first one I'm going to do is to load up the CAT contract, but this time as a Word document rather than as a PDF file. And then what I was going to ask it is to create a table of all of the sentences in this document showing the text of each, the number of words and the number of letters and it should make short work of that. You can see that word analyzing. If you click on the arrow next to it, if you're a Python nerd, this is fascinating, you'll see the underlying text is Python is generated to get this information out. And if you want to, you could choose always show details so that every time you import a document, you'll always see the Python code generated. I'm not going to do that. So if I go down, you'll see that it's created my table with a word count and the letter count. So we'll do one more example. What I'm going to do is load an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll add that file in. It's called Film Reviews, and we'll see its contents in a second. So once again, ChatGPT has generated Python code to import that Excel spreadsheet. And what I'm going to do is ask it, please show the films in it with the three most positive reviews and the three most negative reviews. So you can see at the top, here's a list of all the files. There's actually about 120 films in it. And for each one, there's some quite entertaining reviews written by my colleague, Andrew. And what it's going to do is use sentiment analysis to work out the three best and three worst. So the three most positive ones, these are the films Andrew liked the most, apparently, are Superman, <laughs> Die Hard, there's a controversial statement, the joint best Christmas movie ever made, and Dances with Wolves. And the most negative ones, The Passion of the Christ, gruesome, The Twilight Saga, which he has a bit of a thing about, and Mary Poppins, worst Cockney accent ever. So you should be able to find that you can work with PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets, and I imagine also lots of other formats like Google Sheets uh, and so on. The best thing to do is to try adding a file and see if it will recognize it. One sign whether it will is if you click on this little drop arrow to see the list of file formats supported. Some of the eight I tools give you a list of all the valid file formats. ChatGPT doesn't do that and lets you choose any files at all. 
So in the final part of this tutorial, I just thought I'd remind you that you can also dictate questions or prompts. And this is really good to do in a mobile phone, but also works in the web version, which is what I'm using here. So in ChatGPT, you can click on this dictate button. What I can then do is read out my prompt. I'm going to ask it a nice, simple, fluffy prompt. So let's go for it. Which do you believe best explains the results of the double slit experiment and the phenomenon of quantum entanglement? The multiverse theory? The theory that the world as I see it, your world may be different or you may not even exist, is a giant simulation, as in the Matrix. The theory that the universe has dimensions or folds that we can't see, or some other theory. So let's see what it makes of all that. I thought I'd begin with a nice simple question. So the good news is, I haven't submitted it yet, rather. <laughs> The usual flattery at the beginning. And I suspect it's going to sit on the fence. So it's summarizing various different theories, giving me some more, which I didn't know anything about. It's gone for the many worlds, the multiverse theory. It's an absolutely brilliant summary of the results. It would have been hard to improve this. I'm sorry, I've just been um, yet again taken aback by how good an answer was. There's so much more on our website at wiseowl.co.uk, including blogs, shorter tips, tutorials on SQL and VBA, hundreds of exercises in all sorts of different software applications, and a chance to test your skills in a few selected software applications. In addition to all of that, you can watch our video tutorials like this one in all these different subjects. Or you could consider booking one of our training courses, whether it be classroom, on site or online, or even as one-to-one -one consultancy. Thank you for watching.